right, it's looking good. We're on the wild side with the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. Alex joins us this morning with Charlie. Good this morning. is Charlie. Yeah, good morning and happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. In honor of the 4th of July, I thought I'd bring one of the most uh, beloved of American critters, <laughs> certainly one of the most infamous. Charlie is a striped skunk. Now, these guys have a pretty bad reputation, and it all comes from their amazing uh, defense technique, which is, of course, to spray an oily musk up to 10 feet at a Whoa. potential predator. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's an excellent deterrent, and it keeps most predators uh, away from them. They will go after other food if it's available. They're uh, last resort food choice for most of the predators of the United States. Mm -hmm. But they are omnivores, and they are opportunistic, so they'll go after pretty much anything they can find, which makes cat food and leftovers in the trash oh. quite a draw. So they are excellent at adapting to man-made environments, so they can be found throughout most of the United States. Okay, he seems pretty calm. He seems friendly. He's very calm. This little guy was rescued when he was a baby, and he is blind. Mm -hmm. So he can't really see all of you to be very overwhelmed right now, and that actually works to his advantage. He's an excellent, excellent <laughs> educational ambassador. Yeah. He loves coming out and teaching everyone about what an amazing species these guys can be. Try to break that bad reputation that right. they've got. <laughs> now, Alex said that we couldn't hold Charlie, but you said we could pet Charlie, right? You can pet Charlie, absolutely. Nice. She's brave, though, because he's actually quite stinky. I'm, on, I'm on the, the bad end tea. here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did have his scent glands removed when he was just a baby, so he can't spray you, Great. but he's still very <laughs> musky. Is it true they can't spray until they lift their tail? So if you come across one in the wild, right? So their uh, their scent glands are right at the base of their tail. Okay. So what they'll do is they turn around and they lift that tail up and uh, <laughs> and they will spray you. No, no problem. Right, at Claudia. Yeah. So that is uh, not a position that you want to see a skunk in. If they turn around and raise that tail up, they're trying to tell you you better back up or I'm going to do what skunks do best and I'm going to spray you. And although there's no real medical concern mm -hmm. to being sprayed, it's Obnoxious. It gets yes. in your eyes and your nose and your mouth. <laughs> and it's not your something dogs. pleasant. Yes, and I it's very it difficult to get out. I have allergies right now, so I can't really smell. Can you smell anything? I can smell them, yeah. Okay, because you said it, it yep. could linger <laughs> on us a little bit throughout the day. Call it a zookeeper thing. So you'll be stinky I love the rest of the day and not know it. Oh, yeah. I'll just That's let you know. <laughs> it's a good smell, huh? Yeah, it's just, just not a bad. musky You're smell. A sweetheart. It's fine. So cute. Yeah. Cool. You sure you didn't want to love on him? You know, I will. I will. Can't resist that face. Look at that. You're not going to stink at my dogs. It's no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's about two years old. They can live to be around 10 in captivity. Okay. Wow. Are you guys open for the 4th of July today? We are. Uh, the only holiday we're closed is actually Christmas. Oh. So, we are open all day today, and the zoo is an excellent place to uh, go and celebrate the 4th Absolutely. of July with your family. Cool. Yeah, and as always, a quick reminder, we uh, do have zoo camps going on right now, and registration is still available online. We still Perfect. have some openings. Well, thank you so much for bringing them this yeah. morning. Yeah,